subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello. This video will give you a concise overview of the poem Lacidas written by John Milton. First of all, let's have a brief introduction to the poem. The poem Lacidas is a pastoral elegy written in 1637 by John Milton. The poem is 193 lines in length and is irregularly rhymed. The name Lacidas appeared in different texts of Greek as an Athenian counselor, a poet, and a shepherd. The poem is written in the memory of Edward King, a friend of Milton at Cambridge, who travelled when his ship sank in the Irish Sea off the coast of Wales in August 1637. In the poem, Milton explores the themes of death, fate, and the uncertainty of life. Let us now look at the summary of the poem. The poem begins when the speaker addresses to laurelus, myrtleus, and ivy, expressing a sorrowful intention to harvest their berries and disrupt their leaves prematurely. The speaker tells us that the death of Lacidas forces him to do so. The speaker emphasizes Lacidas' poetic talent and insists that he should not be left unmoved, but rather deserves a poetic tribute. The speaker then urges the sisters of the sacred well to stop playing the string instrument with a certain level of volume. The speaker dismisses any futile denialists or hesitationists. The speaker reflects on a shared upbringing on the same hill, tending to the same flock near Springers, shade and streamers. He recounts working together before dawn, herding flocks and listening to the sounds of nature. The speaker laments the deep change brought by the departure of the shepherd. The speaker tells us that the woods which were once thriving are now overgrown with wild thyme and wandering vines, echoing with mourning. The loss of Lacidas is likened to the devastation caused by a canker to a rose, a tadpole to grazing herd, or frost to blossoms. The speaker then questions the absence of the nymphs when they relentless see drowned Lacidas. The speaker laments the futility of dedicated care to the humble shepherd's trade and the unappreciated pursuit of the mules. Then the waves and winds are being questioned about the misfortune that befell the gentle swan. It is the narrative that the tragic event is attributed to a cursed ship built during an eclipse, which caused the sinking of Lacidas's sacred head. The speaker then gives comfort to grieving shepherds, assuring them that Lacidas is not truly dead but has sucked beneath the waves like the day star in the ocean. Through divine might, Lacidas rises again in a celestial dream where he experiences joy and love. The shepherds are encouraged to stop weeping as Lacidas has become the guiding spirit of the show, bringing blessings to all who navigate the perilous flood. In the final lines, an unrefined shepherd sings to the oaks and streamers as the quiet morning fades away. He skillfully plays various pipes, expressing his Doric melody with passion. As the sun completes its journey across the hills and sets in the western bay, the shepherd, having concluded his song, rises and adjusts his blue cloak. The final line suggests his intention to explore fresh woods and new postures on the following day. The verses capture a rustic scene and the shepherd's connection with nature.